Well, I think firstly, you need to segment the companies. If we look at the Russian and the Middle East NSCs that are really the primary holders of the big resources, they've been focusing on three things. One is technology and cost and really trying to understand how they can focus on their core assets. Secondly is protect market share. So who are the key demand countries and making sure that they have a market for their crude. And the third element, besides Saudi Aramco, those companies have been looking at financial help or assistance and more participation in the domestic resources. As we think about how that will change in the medium term, I think broadly that will hold constant. Uh, any ambitious growth plans, given that the oil price will be in a moderate trading range, is unlikely. Thinking about the other set of companies, if we look at African and Latin American NOCs, they have been much more challenged than any of the other set. That's because a lot of their economies are very much oil linked, dependent on the oil revenues. Those companies, or countries in that, for that matter, have not done enough to attract investment in the downturn. Uh, we've seen pockets of that. Uh, Brazil and Mexico are an example of where they've realized the need for investment. They've realized that terms have to change, and that has attracted a lot of investor participation. But broadly, the theme there has been revenue protection. As we look at North America onshore, which has been the magnet for capital, companies looking to expand the international footprint again are going to be looking for key, key policy or term signals. And if they see that, they may expand again, but that hasn't happened yet. The last group of companies, really kind of access seekers or resource seekers, uh, are really form the Asian set of companies. Uh, these companies have a domestic resource base that is kind of very mature, and they have growing economies and demand, demand needs that are far greater than the, the domestic base. So what they're doing is trying to expand internationally. And they have done that quite considerably uh, pre, pre oil price decline. Some of the learnings from that oil price decline was that a lot of the assets that they acquired or corporate acquisitions have been quite disappointing. They were paid at record valuations, both at a corporate or an asset level. And the follow on review of those deals has pretty much led to the fact that they have to go into the next phase of growth much more focused, both from an asset type and a geographical focus. Um, we will probably see less adventurous exploration. We'll also see less entry in North America onshore, but probably much more geared towards near-term producing assets and more medium-term exploration.